Before watching the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button below and clicking the bell icon to be notified whenever we publish a new video. The recipe for Essene bread is more than 2,000 years old and is found in the Essene Gospel of Peace. It's also a special bread with a unique characteristic that no other bread has. It has life. In today's video, you'll learn about a very special recipe, a bread that was eaten at the time of Christ, known as Ezekiel's bread. The Essenes were a religious group in Palestine, also counted among the Jewish sects. They devoted themselves to the study of the scriptures, medicine, and other sciences. Perhaps the most interesting thing about this recipe is that the Essene bread isn't baked in the oven. For this reason, it's considered a living food. And that makes all the difference, because all the DNA of the plant is preserved in the food, which makes it a superfood. Instead of baking it, the Essenes let the bread dry on a rock in the desert sun to dehydrate it. So, are you ready to learn about this ancient delicacy and get your hands dirty? But first, learn about the benefits of Essene bread. Improves intestinal transit, facilitates digestion, has detoxifying and antioxidant properties, helps you lose weight, rich in fiber, enzymes, and vitamins. Write down the ingredients. One and one half cups organic wheat grain, water, pink salt, or fleur de sel. The mandatory ingredients are wheat and water. If you want to add other ingredients, let your creativity run wild. The first step is to get the wheat grains to germinate. To do this, put one and a half cups of wheat grains in a large bowl and add water until they're covered. It's best to do this in the evening when you go to bed. Let it soak for eight hours. Don't exceed this time. In the morning, when you wake up, pour off the water and let the grains sit in the dish drainer for 24 hours. Put the beans in a jar or container and cover them with a tool or a lid with holes. In the meantime, Keep them hydrated by washing them two to three times a day. After washing, remove the water from the container and leave them damp. You'll know they're ready when they start to sprout because they'll turn white at the top. Don't let them grow too much, just the tip. Put the sprouted seeds in a food processor or blender and blend them until they're completely ground into a homogeneous paste. It's advisable to add a handful of oil seeds, nuts, chestnuts, macadamia nuts, etc. in the process to make the dough homogeneous. Put the dough on a clean surface and knead it a little. If you want a salty bread, add salt, spices, dried tomatoes, and the herbs of your choice. To do this, knead the salted dough and spices well and spread a portion with a rolling pin. You can also do this with your hands. If you like, you can sprinkle roasted sunflower seeds on top. If you want to make a sweet bread, add dried fruits like raisins, apricots, and cinnamon. And if you like, you can sprinkle sesame seeds. Now comes the last and very important step, drying. Put the bread on a clean stone, that's how the ancients did it, but it can also be on a plate or in a baking pan, and let it dry in the sun for 8 hours. If your region is very hot, it can also go faster. If you want to use the oven, you can put it in the oven at 50 degrees for 2 hours. It's ready when a light crust forms on the outside and it's soft on the inside. The Essene bread will last a week if kept in the refrigerator. It's important to remember that while this is a very healthy recipe, it does contain gluten. People with gluten allergies shouldn't eat it. Have you come across this great recipe? If you already know it, tell me about it in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and share it with your friends. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. For more recipes and tips, subscribe to the channel.